From Hollywood, time once again for Money TV. I'm Don Belarjan. Thanks for joining us. Money TV is a program all about money and what makes it happen. Well, Happy New Year and welcome to 2018. Now, along with promises to exercise more and weigh less, every new year brings to us thousands of new laws across the country. Some make sense. Some cause us to just shake our head and attempt to smile. In Texas, a retail store can now refuse to allow a customer to use a credit card if they cannot also produce a government-issued photo ID that matches the name on the card. But if you can prove reasonably that you're unable to obtain such photo ID, the state will still let you vote in their elections. If you're getting a divorce in Illinois, the fate of your dog, cat, or goldfish is no longer treated as simple property like your TV. Now, family law judges are going to have to determine who gets custody of Rover, Fluffy, or Bubbles after determining what is best for the pet. That could even include shared custody. Now, are we going to have pet psychologists testifying in divorce court? Are men going to have to pay pet support? Can it get any more ridiculous? North Carolina's driver handbooks will now feature guidance on how to deal with a police officer during a traffic stop. I guess producing your license and registration wasn't entirely clear. New Yorkers getting a new driver's license will be required to be aware of motorcycle safety, like don't hit one with your car. In Vermont, employers can no longer ask for access to employee social media accounts, so your political tweets and embarrassing Instagram pics cannot be used against you. Now, we have new tax laws in 2018, thanks to the massive tax reform bill passed in December, which according to CNN, everyone was against. Everyone, of course, except those people who actually pay taxes, who CNN apparently forgot to poll. California is now a sanctuary state, so if an illegal alien robs, assaults, or murders someone, state law enforcement officials will no longer arrest them, detain them, or otherwise cooperate with immigration and customs enforcement authorities. And recreational marijuana is now legal in California, and fast food companies are already jumping on the massive opportunity with their newest four and five buck meal deals. Jack in the Box has gone a step further. They've teamed up with infamous stoner Snoop Dogg. They're marketing something called the Merry Munchy Meal at the incredible price of 420. Have the global warming people calculated the effect on air quality from millions of cars idling in McDonald's drive throughs You just can't make this stuff up. Now here's something you don't have to make up. It's our toll-free number, good from anywhere in the world you're watching the television program. 888-259-4449 to get free information about our featured guests. When you do call, be sure and ask to be added to the subscription list of our Money TV newsletter. It is free, as is the toll-free call from anywhere in the world. 888-259-4449. Be sure and visit us at MoneyTV.net. Please like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Well, I'm joined in studio now by two executives with a company called Solar Integrated Roofing Corporation. Their stock symbols SIRC. To my immediate left is Mr. David Savarese. He's the president of the company. David, welcome. Yeah, thank you for having me here. And of course, we've seen you before, Dave Massey, CEO of the company. Dave, welcome back. Hey, thanks so much. Happy to be here. Now, you guys had a tremendous 2017. Lots of activity. We really enjoyed talking to you. We reinitiated coverage of the company. One of the deals that I was really impressed with was the Lowe's Home Improvement Center's deal. Can you uh, give us a little bit more detail about that? Sure. Uh, we're actually honored to be a partner with Lowe's. They had uh, over 300 selections that they could have made to roofing contractors in San Diego. We're confident they chose us because of our uh, high quality workmanship, the integrity of the company, and our, our insistence on, upon customer service. Uh, congratulations. Thank you. Did a little bit of research about your background. Very impressive. Can you share that with us, please? Yeah, early in my career, I was involved with a public company on the funding and growth side of the business. I uh, then ran my own business for seven years. Uh, within the last six years, I've actually been involved and was recruited by one of the largest solar companies in San Diego. Worked my way up through the company, uh, became the director of sales, and helped grow the business from 15 to 50 million wow. over the last four years. Now, what was it about solar integrated roofing that attracted you to join the company? Yeah, I think, well, Dave Massey and I, first off, really have the same vision on what we're trying to achieve. We've got a diversified product portfolio. Um, we've got solar and roofing. 
which allows us to diversify into different markets. We're also looking at adding an HVAC division as well, which is super exciting. We've got the public uh, company side of things where we're able to possibly acquire a few different companies in the year 2018. Um, so really, uh, the future is wide open for so us. So you you're, you're looking to become a one-stop shop with solar roofing, heating, ventilation, and air conditioning. I mean, you basically can cover all the inner working, so to speak, of a home in, 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 a, in, a, uh, in a commercial building. A absolutely, and what we'll do is an energy efficiency audit, you know, with the homeowner and, and possibly even on the commercial side and uh, you know, offer our product portfolio to them to see if we can, we can benefit them. Now, I'm sure you've jumped into the job with both feet. Is there a okay. short list of accomplishments you'd like to see in 2018? Uh, short and long list, but, <laughs> yeah, but yes. Um, some of the shorter things in the, in, the, in the near future, what we're looking to do is bring on a uh, new management team. We've got great contacts in the industry. I've been in the industry a while. I think the key in any successful business is putting the right people in the right places. Mm -hmm. I've got some real A players who are going to come in from a sales side, an operations side, um, and you know, really looking to grow the business. And these are people you've worked with before, so you already know how they're going to perform once they get on the job. These are solid people with experience in the industry, and uh, will definitely help fine tune and, and grow the sales and operations side of the business. Well, fantastic. Now, Dave, uh, company announced recently it was proceeding with the Blue Star Energy and Hangi Home Services acquisition. Uh, what's the current status of that, and what are you hoping to have happen from the deal? The current status is uh, we, we're looking to close uh, the uh, purchase of uh, Hengi Home Services and Blue Star in the first quarter. Mm -hmm. uh, we're really excited about one of the partners. He has a, a vast experience in uh, creating systems that, that give us a potential to grow the company. Mm -hmm. Dave and I are more of sales and marketing type guys, and okay. uh, one of the uh, principals, he's an operations guy, and he, okay. he, he's going to be a key piece for us to have the growth that we're looking for. What... Um what are you gentlemen hoping to see transpire as a result of the deal? Because I know you don't make an acquisition just... setting those up correctly so that we can scale the business over time responsibly. Now, um, I know you've done most of your growth organically. This is an acquisition now that we're talking about. Do you anticipate more growth by acquisition as we move forward? Definitely. I think that's going to be a key component in us building revenue, revenue and profitability over the years to come. We're looking at probably two in the first year, uh, two different companies, one being uh, Blue Star Energy and Hennigy. Mm -hmm. Um, but we also have our eyes on a couple other ones. I think it's going to be a slow process, but we're definitely going to be acquiring companies that, like I mentioned, help build the revenue and profitability of the business. Well, that was my next question. Is, to what is, is, there, is there a target list that you look at in a, in a potential acquisition target? Well, because we have a long history and we've been around since 1989, we definitely know a lot of the roofing industry. Right. We know a lot of the solar industry. There are some smaller players in the industry that we have definitely already identified. Being a public company, we have the ability to make some acquisitions and, and get the funding uh, in order in order to do those types of deals. Well, it becomes attractive, Dave, to these private companies that you're looking to acquire because they becoming part of a public company kind of gives them a little bit of an exit strategy, right? You know, nice about me, I've been in the industry almost 30 years. I know a lot of older roofing contractors that have been doing it almost as long as, long as I have. You know, the downside of roofing business is they're difficult to sell. Mm -hmm. So we're confident that we can acquire them, uh, give them a stock piece, Give them, give them a, a way to exit and help us grow the business and use their clientele to grow the solar business as well. So it's, it's, a, it's a perfect fit for us. Solar Integrated Roofing Corporation, SIRC. Uh, gentlemen, why is this a good time right now for people to take a closer look at your company? We are poised right now to win. We're in a great position. We're in a great position to grow. Um, we're bringing on key components and key staffing and key management to help grow the sales uh, and operation side of the business. Um, Really, the sky is the limit right now. We're poised in the renewable energy market. Uh, it's just a wide open space. And what I love mostly about it really is that we're a diversified company now. We've got solar, we've got roofing, and we've got the possibility of bringing on HVAC as well. Um, there is really no better time right now as the solar market has emerged. We're, we're reaching kind of that tipping point where the early adopters 
right, had already gotten solar, they've already been in the, the solar arena, and it's kind of moving more into the mass market stage right now. I can see Dave why he went after this guy. This is exciting stuff. He's, he's excellent. Dave, and about, Dave actually came out a little earlier. He kind of volunteered the last half of, of uh, December. Mm -hmm. We've been working very closely over the last 30 days. We're, we're, uh, we're very different, but we're very alike. I, I think we uh, do a good job of, of complementing each other. Some, Go ahead. Something I'd like to also mention is, uh, you know, the solar industry, at least in our area, is it's kind of saturated with marketing. So mm -hmm. people are a little tired of hearing sure. from solar companies. We, we have the, I call it the fire and rain approach, where with the roofing and the rainy seasons, that's drastic rainy season we're having here in Southern mm -hmm. California. I'm sure it's coming, but it's not here yet. You know, we get the phone ringing with that. Uh, when we do the acquisition of the AC company, uh, we'll have the, uh, the phone ringing with AC. Right. You know, summertime's a big time. Sure. So I think we'll have a good balance of business. And every time we see a, a new client, we can always show them the benefit of roofing nice. and solar at the same time. I find that any time I've been on a solar call, and I still do those, 90% of the people are either putting on solar because they're putting in AC or they're putting mm -hmm. on a roof. So we're covering everything and we're really excited. And I'm really, really excited Absolutely. to work with Dave. I really am. Yeah, just, you, oh, go ahead. Yeah, well, one last thing I think I could add probably on why to look at the company at this time also is because we're actually going to be opening up a technology vision division within SIRC. Mm -hmm. And so just we've got a lot of things in the in the in the fire right now and so it's time to strike. Looking forward to hearing more about that. Once again, it's Solar Integrated Roofing Corporation, S I R C. Uh, gentlemen, very exciting. Thank you so much for joining us once again. Thank, Thank you so Tom. much Appreciate for having it. us. And joining us on the phone now is Mr. Jeff Lawrence. He's the chief financial officer of a company called Players Network, PNTV is their stock symbol. Jeff, welcome to the program. Thanks, Don. It's great to be here. Well, we haven't spoken to you before, so I want to welcome you once again. Uh, tell us what's the latest with uh, Players Networks. I know a lot's been going on. Uh, yeah, we have uh, quite a few uh, big news items that are going to hit in the next uh, couple of months. But, uh, you know, what's really taken our attention today especially is this uh, announcement that uh, U.S. Attorney General Jeff Sessions uh, plans to rescind the coal memorandum, and that's... Uh, caused a lot of ripples in the marijuana industry, not just us, but all marijuana stocks. Um, we don't think that's going to uh, have a, a really big long-term impact on the industry uh, because uh, it never carried the force of law anyway. Uh, however, the Rohrbacher Farr Amendment to the federal budget uh, is a uh, legislative provision that the Attorney General can't revoke on his own. Right. He's asked for that to be overturned, and Congress has declined. Well, I think even no matter what happens here, you're probably going to end up in court with this. I mean, this could take years to settle out, don't you think? Uh, well, I think it could. Uh, you know, the po political atmosphere here has uh, changed very rapidly over the past couple of years. You know, 60 percent of Americans now favor legalization. Almost a third of Americans live in a state where marijuana is legal for recreational mm -hmm. purposes. Uh, so, and, you know, states and local governments have built their budgets on this. Uh, getting you know hundreds of millions of dollars a year, so I think it's very difficult to put this genie back in the bottle. Uh, and uh, yeah, I, I don't. It's not clear to me that Congress is going to go along with uh, the Attorney General. So, from the standpoint of Players Network, your attitude is business as usual. Uh, yeah, we're going to continue to go on. Uh, we have some very big things coming down the pike in the next uh, couple of months. Uh, we're, we're not quite ready to announce uh, until we have. Uh, you know, all the signatures that we need in place, but uh, we think we're going to be one of the top position marijuana companies in the world. Once again, the company's Players Network, PNTV is their stock symbol. Uh, Jeff, uh, incredible update. Thanks for the information. Thanks for joining us. Thank you so much, Don. I've had this problem. Big problem. I really, really needed a good investment forum. And I kept searching and searching. Ugh, there are so many choices. It's really hard to find one that has all the things on my list. But I finally did it. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. If you were looking for one as well, look no further. Here's a really good one. Just use mine. Use mine. I'm very satisfied. Definitely recommend. Problem gone. Thank you. Have you heard the news? There's only one flat fee news distribution network on the market. It's called Access Wire, and it's exclusively from Issuer Direct. Any day, any time, the Access Wire news network can deliver your press release to more than 1,500 media outlets in 98 countries. Access Wire also delivers real-time engagement analytics. You will learn who read and shared your press release and more. Best news of all, getting started is easy. 
Visit accesswire.com and extend your company's news reach today. We're back. Thanks for staying with us. Joined now by Mr. Greg Lambrecht. He is CEO of a company called Single Point Incorporated, S-I-N-G, is flexible. Greg, welcome back to the show. Hey, thanks for having me, Don. Well, the last time we spoke with you, of course, we were on location with you at a marijuana dispensary in Los Angeles. That was really exciting. But we've had some comments this week from uh, Attorney General uh, Jeff Sessions that's kind of thrown the whole market into a tizzy. Well, it has, except, you know, our stock has actually uh, bounced back quite well because our whole narrative has been that we don't touch the past uh, companies that we acquire or invest in and certainly our own technology, which is, uh, you know, allowing people to use other forms of payments in cash, for example, cryptocurrency and Bitcoin, uh, to solve some of the banking issues at the uh, dispensary. So uh, we're in a perfect place uh, right now. Well, it's interesting because when we were on location at the dispensary in Los Angeles, we did a uh, demonstration of your of your Bitcoin app being used to make a purchase, uh, which was really exciting. How soon will your app be ready on the open market? Well, you know, we're really, that's a great question. We're really on the last mile of uh, having our, our, our payment uh, app done and also uh, probably going to be announcing some big news about an acquisition in that space as well. But uh, we're looking at the first quarter. Um, to really get our, our product out there. Well, you know, you're mentioning acquisitions. Of course, 2017 was a banner year for Single Point. You made four acquisitions. Uh, your stock has done tremendously well. Uh, market cap has increased. Volume of trading has increased dramatically. You have to look back and reflect and uh, feel pretty satisfied with what, what occurred last year. Oh, just great things have happened to Single Point and uh, saying, uh, you know, we hit a $100, $100 million market cap and uh, – we, uh, you know, we raised a million dollars that we have a bank in the bank out of a four million raise. Uh, we're getting plenty of calls from Wall Street uh, talking about giving us uh, funds at, at uh, great, great rate. And uh, you know, the really, I guess maybe the best thing overall is, is the incredible volume that our stock has, and uh, it's just really a strong public company right now. It's going to allow us to. Uh, do all the things that we want to do internally with our with our uh, Bitcoin cryptocurrency payment app, and also acquisition. Well, with all this access to new capital, has the uh, targets of your acquisitions uh, changed somewhat? Well, yeah, I, I don't think the targets have changed, but what's changing is is uh, we're able to go after larger companies and. What I mean by that, companies that you know have serious revenue and EBITDA, but they want they want some cash. We're able to uh, we're able to discuss uh, acquisitions with them and and uh, you know raise the cash and we have the cash in the bank and then of course our stock, the volume is so liquid that they're very interested. So you're going to see more acquisitions. They're just going to be larger, which is going to contribute to our, our our increase in revenue and our and our bottom line EBITDA. Now, you also mentioned last time we spoke about a national TV commercial you're rolling out in first quarter. Can you give us an update on that? Yeah, well, we uh, we uh, we just signed Kevin Harrington as our, our national spokesman from uh, Shark Tank, as, as you well know. And uh, uh, we're going to be rolling out a, a national uh, 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 spot on CNN and Fox and other, other stations. And basically, we're going to show people how to download Bitcoin to their phone, to their wallet. And after that, we will show them how to use that at dispensary. So that's going to be a huge, uh, significant thing that the company is going to do. And, uh, you know, we look forward to having our shareholders and future shareholders see the national app. Well, I know Kevin I know Kevin Harrington very well. He and I co-hosted the television program a couple of years ago. That's a great choice. Once again, the company is Single Point Incorporated, stock symbol S-I-N-G. Uh, tremendous uh, progress, Greg. Thanks so much. Well, thank you, and go sing. And joined on the phone now by Don Smith. He's executive vice president with a company called Smart Cannabis Corporation. Their stock symbol is SCNA. Don, welcome back to the program. Good to be here, Don. Well, Don, we are taking orders for the Jeff Sessions dartboard. We just spoke with another company about that. I want to make sure you can put your order in for you. Absolutely. We, we, would, uh, we would probably buy a dozen. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we haven't spoken to you in a little bit. What's the newest with the company since we last had our conversation? Well, we just wrapped up a, a very, very exciting 2017, and are uh, 
you know, powering through January already for 2018. Of course, we just got some, you know, some some setback news from from the federal government, but um, overall, that doesn't doesn't majorly affect our business model and business plans. But uh, several things going on at the company. Well, you know, it's kind of interesting because we just got off the phone in a previous interview with Greg Lambrecht over at Single Point Incorporated. I know your company made a deal with, with them. How's that coming along? Uh, it's great. So we, we did a, what I think is a very, very uh, well-done deal with these guys. They get it. And this industry is relatively new in the United States to seeing companies that actually have a uh, a track record in doing what they say they'll do and in performing in deals. Um, and so I believe we have a very good fit with Single Point. We we announced a letter of intent and then turned that document into a multifaceted actual joint venture agreement that's on the books with both of our companies within 30 days. And, you know, it's uh, phase one of that was announcing our intention to utilize our smart app automation system and our upcoming track and trace software system uh, tied in with uh, you know historical data and with their their Bitcoin cyber currency transaction system uh, and we intend to you know we've got programmers on it so do they and that that looks like to be a, a very exciting business opportunity in 2018 and then secondly is we uh, we're in the discuss, final discussions, actually, for phase two of this multifaceted relationship, and I think we'll have some, you know, some news out on that here, certainly in the month of January between the two companies. It's very exciting. Well, Don, when we were speaking with you in 2017, it was really exciting to watch the growth of your company last year. One of the things that you talked to us about was you had no trouble selling these sustainable greenhouses. As a matter of fact, and you had reached a point where you were virtually sold out in the fourth quarter of last year. How is that shaping up for 2018? Well, it's uh, very bullish for us. Uh, in fact, we did, in fact, sell pretty much all the company could sell and install in 2017. Uh, John Taylor and myself held the growth of this company back somewhat for a specific reason. We did not want to go ship sophisticated greenhouse packages out of state to some uh, individual or unknown uh, in installation company because uh, just one of those going bad could could impact our own reputation. So all of the revenue and greenhouses we sold in 2017 were installed by you know subcontractors and, and a uh, an actual uh, trained people by our company. Uh, in 2018, we intend to branch out and expand on that and have made, we made about $50,000 of investments just in manufacturing machinery and capability in December so that we can expand the number of greenhouses that we build as well as we've invested a lot of time and effort in documenting that process so we can train a number of out-of-state contractors and start making some of those sales that we have been inquired upon us in the last 60, 90 days. So basically you were really interested in developing a quality control uh, aspect to the business so that you can now expand across the country? We, we are because uh, it, it is a nationwide business. However, our, our basic premise remains here that we believe we can be one of the largest companies in the, in the uh, advanced automated greenhouse and cannabis space simply focusing on California. Right now we, we do not have a signed contract, but we have 102 uh, greenhouse deal in the pipeline here for the first quarter. I mean, and that's you know, our business pipeline of, of active proposals we're negotiating to close right now is well over $15 million. Uh, not to mention projects that are actually in construction that we already have been paid for and will be announcing here in the coming week. That's exciting. Once again, the company is Smart Cannabis Corporation, SCNA is the stock symbol. Don, it's been so tremendous watching the growth of your company. Great update. Thanks for joining us. Thank you very much. I'll see you soon, Don. Take care. Bye-bye. And joining us now on the phone is Carl Schilling. Carl is the founder of the Advocacy Network. Carl, always good to talk to you. 
Yes, Don. Thanks so much. Happy New Year. Happy Great New Year, too. I really appreciate that. Uh, well, how was 2017 for the Advocacy Networks? I know that you experienced a lot of growth last year. Yeah, no, it's a very good year. To date now, we've saved people over $8 million. That's, that's money that would have been lost into some form of a financial uh, victimization, you know, some form of a bad scam, fraud, predatory sales tactic, something of that nature. You know, it's kind of interesting as we talk about financial victimization. It's not always what we're thinking about. There's so many different aspects of that, aren't there? It, it is, and, and this is the season, Don. This is the season because now the IRS scams will start, the phone calls. I got one myself uh, two weeks ago threatening me to go to jail. You know, they, they, get, very, they get very pushy, and, and unfortunately sometimes uh, seniors and, and, and other people uh, get caught up into this. So uh, this is the season of the scam, and everybody just needs to be aware. You know, people need to realize if the IRS wants to contact you, they write you a letter. They never do call you, right? Absolutely. And they won't email you either. So same with your banks. You know, the banks do not email you asking you for information. So those are all kinds of fraudulent emails. They look good. They look fancy. You know, and then there's the usual stuff, Don, that's amazing. But there's the Nigerian chain letters and there are the, uh, the Jamaican lottery, which you'd think most people say, oh, it never happened to me. But it happens more and more to a lot of people. It's fascinating. Now, uh, if people want to know more about the Advocacy Network and what you can do to help them, what would they do? Well, they can call me direct, 321-947-3220. And, of course, they can go to our website and, and take a look at all a lot of great content and things we have, uh, www.theadvocacynet.com. Now, we saw a massive data breach last year with Equifax. You, I would have to an, an anticipate that we're going to see much more attempts at financial victimization as a result of that. Certainly. And, and again, that's also done, as we've discussed, we, we also help people with their own uh, financial independence, you know, and growth and financial independence. And a lot of that has to do with credit. So we're very heavily involved in credit repair, credit restoration, and some other great services that will protect people, identity theft and some other things. So I, I think those are all things people need to be thinking of. Once again, it's called the Advocacy Network. Carl Schilling is the founder. They do wonderful things at that company. Be sure and visit their website. Carl, uh, always a pleasure having you in the program. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you, Don. Have a wonderful day. There is a building boom going on in the United States. We're going to talk about that on this week's Money Wrap radio program. To find a radio station near you, listen online, or just get more information, visit the website moneywrap.com. Call us right now, 888-259-4449, toll-free from anywhere in the world for free information about our featured guests. When you do call, be sure and ask the ads at a subscription list of our Money TV newsletter. It is free, as is a toll-free call from anywhere in the world, 888-259-4449. Be sure and visit us at moneytv.net. Please like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. That's our program this week. As always, we'll be back next week. Thanks so much for joining us.